Hi, welcome to laurenandkelseycreates.com. I'm Lauren, and today I will be showing you how to make envelopes that have these little liners in them. Perfect for any special events that you may want to um, just kind of personalize any envelopes for you. Um, I actually had a um, relative of mine ask her um, son is graduating from Mechanical Institute, and so she had asked of me if I could make some envelopes and if I could do like a little um, a little project for her. So I'm working on the project, and in the meantime, I thought it would be really neat to share with you all how I'm making these envelopes um, to really personalize them for her and for her son. Um, and you can do this with just about anything that you want. So since he works from this mechanical institute, he, he's a boat mechanic. It's what he's studying in school. Um, and so what we found was we found this little manual. Um, this is ever, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a mechanic, um, apparently it's a mechanics uh, manual that has all ending parts. I guess it's part of some of the, what he uses in his school. I'm not entirely sure, um, but she was able to, to get that for me from a secondhand shop. So what I decided to do as the liners um, is take pieces of the pages um, and the little parts that have the engine like manuals on them and use them as little inserts. So it kind of personalizes. And these are going to be thank you cards for people who are sending him graduation gifts. And you can use this on any sort of... Um, any sort of project that you want. So now let's, um, now that I've shown you a card, we've got this. This is a relatively big envelope because the size of the uh, cardstock that I'm using is a 12 by 12, I believe. Does it say in here? <clears throat> yeah, I believe it's 12 by 12. Yeah, it's 12 by 12. I get this from um, any of your main store where you can get cardstock from any of the, like, a main craft store. Um, I decided I chose this blue color because he's it's a guy and uh, I think it goes well with the mechanical institute. It kind of has like a, I don't know, it, blue goes with boats. You can have any, any of these envelopes. You can get them in all different colors. Um, you just go with what you decide that you'd like to do um, for the envelope. So now what we're going to do, what you'll need is you're going to need the cardstock, you're going to need some sort of insert, whatever you'd like to use, you're going to need a ruler, you're going to need a pencil, um, you may need an X-Acto knife. I used this X-Acto knife to cut pages out of the book so that it gave me a nice neat edge on the, the um, pages, uh, scissors, and a small um, a small like paintbrush and like a larger paintbrush. This one might be a little bit too big. Uh, you may want to just get like one of these smaller brushes that are like wider um, and I'll show you why in a moment. I realize I don't have any so um, this is gonna have to do for me for now. Um, okay so the first thing I'm gonna do put that to the side is take one of these card pieces of cardstock. I have the sticker on them. I'm going to take this sticker off. They usually come off pretty easily. There we go. Right off. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to do it this way. So when you're making the envelopes, envelopes are super easy to make. Um, I'm going to take the ruler and I'm going to go across and I'm just going to kind of put some dashes across here. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the exact center. So it might be easier for you to look at it this way. Kind of eye it. So that, um, coming down the center there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite end. So center it, kind of get some dashes with your pencil. You pull down just a little bit here. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the center where the two lines are going to cross. So it's right 
better out here. I'm going to put a little circle right in there. So now, you don't have to even worry about um, erasing the pencil marks because all the pencil marks are going to be covered. I'm going to take either end, first end I'm going to take, and I'm going to put the point right over top of that little circle pencil mark. This little circular pencil mark right in the center there. We found the center. I'm going to fold it out right over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to fold it right over that so that it's here, just slightly overlapping. And if you can see that, I just slightly overlapped it. And we're going to fold it. So that's looking like. You want to kind of hold it up because you can see how straight it is. So I'm actually going to move it just a little this way so that I get a straighter edge on the envelope. Now I'm going to take my ruler and go like, like so, so I get a nice edge on those and they're nice and crisp lines. Okay. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this bottom section right over. I'll center it as much as possible. And this little bit is going to come up. They're going to, it's going to come up right along the sides here. Let's make sure that it's all aligned as much as possible so we don't have much overlap along the edges. So now we have the basis of our envelope right here at this point. So we don't want to glue it down yet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these pages. Let's see, which page do I want to use? This will work. And I'm going to go like this because now we're going to create the inside, the insert for the envelope. Just look right here. I'm gonna take my pencil. I'm gonna just follow that. I'm gonna cut, and I'm and now I'm gonna cut a little bit below this line because I want there to be a little bit of an overlap in here so that it looks like an insert, you have a little bit of an edge of the coloring. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it just a little bit, following the edge a little bit um, away from the line to the inside so that it gives it a little extra room. And if you want to, you can absolutely take your um, your ruler and create a little extra line so that you can um, you can cut across. I just eyeballed it. So now we have the insert. I'm going to center it on here, and it's overlapping just slightly on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my ruler and just whoop, down there and I'm going to cut off this edge. And this is most likely because when I cut them out of the, the book itself, they were not necessarily straight when I cut it out of the book because I just took the um, X-Acto knife and just um, scored it right down the edge. So now we've got the insert. And that's going to insert well right here. It doesn't have to go all the way to the end because what we're going to do now, I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to just glue it right into there. And I want to make this as even as possible on the edges here. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to open up my Mod Podge. And you can use, at this point, you can use any glue. 
You can use just about anything. Um, I like the Mod Podge because it's an open container and I can just come on like this way and it doesn't have to, um, I don't have to worry about it being really globby and having excess. So, I'm just, so this is where this leans us just a little bit, a little bit on the big side, but it was all I could find last minute. And I'm trying to get these out for my family member so that she can send out these, uh, these thank you cards. much towards the edges as possible, get it all the way up to the edge. And I'm going to stick this right in a cup of water because it's glue and I do not want the glue to ruin the paintbrush. So now I have the glue on one side. I'm going to down as close as possible how I want it on here. Okay, looks like we are in business. I have some of the extra bits. I could take my smaller paintbrush and hit the edges so that they stay down. Here, just stay down. I'm gonna run it all along all these pieces that are coming up right here. Looks like that's all good right there. So now I've got this insert that's glued in here. Okay, throw that in my water. And I'm gonna fold this back up, fold this here. And this is what it's going to look like when they open it. You see? So what now the next step I have to do is I need to make sure I need to glue this piece down. So that way it's, um, it stays as the envelope. Let's see what's the best way to attack this. Okay. I'm going to just follow along this bottom crease. And follow up here. And the same thing on this side. And we're going to see how far up it comes to, but like right around here. So, what I'm actually going to do. I just glue as much as I can so that way it doesn't come up. I'm going to do it on both sides. So it comes up to like right around here. That way it's really nice and glued down. I'm just going to hold on to that for a second. Make sure that it sticks. And the good thing about the Mod Podge is that it dries real quick. So you won't have to worry about it moving around a whole lot and it's not since it's it's thin and kind of relatively watery um and now bear in mind you do not have to make your own envelopes doing something like this but i mean i think it adds a little bit of charm to the whole project um making your own envelopes looks, i don't know it just looks cool and uh you can always buy buy your own envelopes and um you can put inserts in you, what you would do is just like this You've got the envelope, envelope, and you would cut out, and then you would just take out a little bit, and you would just kind of insert it and glue it down. Same idea, um, we, the, but it would already be pre-made, so you would have to make sure that you could put it down and glue it down. So the only other place I'm going to check for is these little sections here. Make sure that those get glued down nice and tight. Same on this side. Same on that side. And hold 
this down right around there, kind of fold it however you'd like to do it, right around where it looks good to be an envelope. With this, make this work. And we've got an envelope and we've got the insert. So we've got our little themed, our little themed envelopes here. And then we want to let that dry. But so now you can uh, pretty much you just write your address on here. This will be good with a black sharpie. I'm sure he's like an 18. Well, I think he's like maybe a 21 year old kid. So he's probably just gonna hand write all of this. And um, be aware of the size that whatever place you're gonna send it. If you send this to the post office, be aware of the size of the envelope. Uh, you might need to use a little extra postage if you do something a little bigger. They have different sizes but other than that that is about it that's how you make an envelope that has a theme on the inside and um, I hope you enjoyed watching if you have any questions comments concerns uh, please let me know in our comments you know our section for the video I'm more than happy to listen and read all of them and see what you think see if you've done anything similar um, and be sure to visit the website for more uh, videos coming up thank you very much